is this for brick and mortar, main street type? Is this for who who is your focused customer base at revlocal.com? So we are we focus our efforts on small independent locations, mom and pops, and we are also um, ranked pretty highly as a marketing partner for franchisees, which fit a lot of the same mold as the independent uh, gym, restaurant, roofing contractor. That's our focus. We do have a couple of um, things that are outside that niche. We work with e-commerce clients that have no physical presence. We work with over 300 Planet Fitnesses um, as part of a, a pretty big operation there. But our bread and butter is helping that independent roofer, uh, coffee shop, law, law firm. Um, that's where we really shine and that's where we um, add a lot of value to the folks in that space. Right on. All right, I gotta ask you a little bit of a curveball question on this one. <laughs> Okay, so I know that you're coming out of military background, all of this other good stuff. All right, and you know that we're doing our episode in 5P format. What was the craziest, longest, biggest coordinated 5P op order you ever were a part of with all of this infantry, intel, officer, all of this other background? Multiple sure. Board, all of that stuff. Um. So a lot of folks may not know this, especially if they're not officers, but the Army's largest uh, training event every year is the Cadet Commands uh, event that trains about five to 6,000 uh, students who are pursuing the ROTC degree. Um, it's one month every year. When I went through it, it's held at Joint Base Lewis McCord. I think now they hold it at Fort Knox at HRC. Um, but I'm, that was uh, just 30 days of train model kits, receiving and uh, disseminating orders. Um, it basically just felt like a 30-day op order. Um, some of the ones at NTC were pretty big, but hands down, the biggest operation I've ever been a part of was to command big 6,000 college students um, right. through a training course. <laughs> oh, goodness. Yeah, there's a whole different level of accountability when you're inviting that many civilians into an Army training package. Good grief. <laughs> All right, well, it did carry over. Man, that is a giant operation. It's interesting. It's different than what I thought you were going to say, honestly. I'm glad. Some of the ones at NTC were big, but they were only a couple thousand people or a couple hundred. Could that come in? Good night. I went to Opwars with 400 people in the room. Yeah. See, it's interesting because we're bringing that out to the modern workforce, even at the local level, to where someone has the ability to do like we did an immediate action plan, right? We used to call them fragos, yeah. right? So you can kick an immediate action plan, let's say to your shift leaders or what have you, you get your daily debrief, boom, that combines into after actions to tighten up your next plan. So it's the same way that we were applying it in the military, we're applying it out there. That's one of the huge reasons why I started background, I saw what you're doing at revlocal.com, and folks, get in touch with Matt Octung. Get in touch with him over LinkedIn. Be sure to connect with him. It's A-U-C-H-T-U-N-G. Be sure to connect with him. The guy is a human being, people, right? So if you're out there, you're a local business owner or a small business owner, we get it. Understandable. You're going to have to have some sort of marketing presence out there. Get your face known. Well, hey, man. That's 70 websites. You're managing a whole lot of stuff for me. Don't worry about it. Matt's already handled the planning and coordination associated with 3,000, 4,000 college kids. I'm sure that he can figure this out for you fine folks. Go to revlocal.com, check out their team, check out their mission. Honestly, it's impressive. I started poking around down there myself. I saw how you're working with folks. I mean, I looked at it immediately from the glance of a local contractor especially when you're talking about, say, co-op. Could you fill us in on what that means as far as co-op? Sure, yeah. So a lot of folks don't know what this means. And a lot of folks are, especially if you're a home-based business, right? So you run the side of your house. You're a home inspector, you're a roofer, you're a plumber, you're an electrician. Um, the, you don't get any drive-by traffic like the gym, like the coffee shop, like the restaurant. And so you, you live and die off of your lead generation efforts. When you pay money to advertise on Home Advisor, Angie's List, Facebook, Google, anything, if you advertise and play by the rules of the manufacturers of certain products, um, carrier and train in HVAC world, um, it, that's just one example. John Deere, if you're if you you know own a, a an equipment rental company or something like that, 
if you advertise in the right way, they, at Michelin Tires, they have a great co-op program. You can get refunded from 10 to 90% of that advertising if you do it in the way that makes sense for them. So you send your, you send your report to Michelin. Hey, I ran $5,000 of an ad this month. Michelin, I believe their co-op program is 50%, and they usually have that turnaround in 48 hours. Hey, I spent $5,000 at my, tie, at my uh, mechanic shop. Michelin gets you that check for $2,500. That's what co-op means. They are basically saying, please, please spend money advertising our stuff. We'll reimburse you X amount. 